Hello my dear friends and welcome to another marine engineering video by Adventure Store channel. Today my dear friends we will see the circulation diagram of the oil that flows inside a diesel generator engine. And we will speak about some interesting things that uh, I have discovered through the time, through the operation and I will share it with you. But before I share it with you check my referral link for the Abyss platform. It's really interesting. Sign up, choose your interesting game. There is a lot of games that you can choose and also you can earn uh, some of uh, the rewards that they have from this gaming system. The referral program, it's five uh, referral and it's really, really interesting. So join today and stay together with Adventure Story Channel. So let's go to our topic. What we have here, we can see that the flow from our sum tank here starts and a lube oil pump will suction from the sum tank the oil. We'll increase the pressure of the oil and send it further to distribute it through the all the engine. The oil is really really important because it reduces the friction of the engine, it removes the heat because some of the oil passing from lubricating oil cooler and with the thermostatic valves will adjust the temperature that we need. Also after the cooling down of the oil and the heat will be removed uh, through the oil will be transferred then to oil cooler next will be sent uh, to the engine block here we have our olive oil thermostatic valve this is it this is it which enters inside and send some of the oil back to the cooler or it will be closed and send it uh, direct to the engine points later We'll pass the filters, the boil filters, and we have, in our case, we have two kinds of filters. We have cartridge, we have metal filters inside for better filtering. The metal filters, you can wash them, uh, but the cartridge must be replaced for sure. And next, we can see that goes to turbocharger, the same system for lubricating all the parts, the camshaft, the bearings, the camshaft bearings, the main bearings, uh, the fuel pump will be also lubricate the turbocharger. After the turbocharger, uh, the oil also lubricates and cool down uh, the plain bearings. The oil will be coming back to the sump, will passing also through the cylinder heads, the rocker arms, everything must be lubricated and also the oil have a interesting effect that can wash also your engine and whatever dirty your engine contains will be inside your oil but this is important why the oil must be renewed okay if you make a overhauling let's say you make a overhauling a total overhauling of cylinder liners like that everything the good practice is to start your engine for a while, about for uh, two days or three days to work, to accumulate all the dirt inside the filters and after that you remove the oil, you clean all the oil that you have inside, you replace the filters and then you install everything new so you will make a very good uh, help for the engine to stay longer and work uh, for a long time. This is also uh, our Luboil main pressure control valve which we can set uh, the pressure of the engine but mostly this uh, will be done when the engine starts uh, on initial settings of the engine. So that is it. That is our flow chart how the oil flows and it will be a little more complex that it shows here but 
anyway uh, we have a image a main image of how it does it so thank you that you have stay to watch this video until the end don't forget to check my previous videos it will be really really helpful so guys see you in the next video bye bye